Day 25. Welcome. Mountain mind. We've been talking a lot about mountains and the symbolism of mountains. We started with mountain pose and the pose symbolizing certainty, the pose symbolizing strength, the pose symbolizing a sense of groundedness, even when in uncertain times. We move to, to mountain heart where you bring that same, those same qualities into your everyday life, leading with this energetic heart space, which is limitless in possibilities, which is infinite in knowing and knowledge that we are all connected as one. And now mountain mind. After years of, of, of meditating and years of practicing yoga and self-study and all this knowledge, um, turned wisdom through experience, it's been my, it's been my understanding and my belief now that one out of an infinite amount of ways to access this region, the heart, is not by control, but through the ability to direct the mind, the ability to bring awareness to that chatter, that blah, 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 that happens every single day. And I don't think it's something that you get rid of. I think that voice is constantly there because after all, it is useful. It keeps us safe. It recalls past experiences where danger might be lurking and keeps us on our toes in order to survive. It's a beautiful survival tool and a necessity, something that's kept our species evolving decade after decade after decade after decade. But right now, in the world that we're living in, it's not as needed as, say, when we were living in nature, right? So can I, can I take those thoughts, those thoughts that have been spinning all by themselves, all by themselves, all by themselves, that voice that doesn't stop and the, the harshness, the critique, the forever analyzer, comparer, contraster. You don't need to go far in order to experience this. Just f open up your phone and click up Instagram. Start scrolling. Start noticing how your mind goes, ooh, ah, ah, e, ah, ah, oh, oh, uh, ah. <laughs> By the end of 10 minutes or so, you've done a great job. Your mind has done a great job of comparing and contrasting your life with someone else's. Regardless if it's true or not, doesn't matter. Just like regardless of what we see with our eyes or inside of our minds, the brain doesn't differentiate between the material, the real, and what you imagine vividly. It's the law of attraction right there. So mountain mind, can we take that symbolic nature of the mountain and bring it to our mind? finding certainty in the uncertainty, getting excited about fear when it comes up. This must mean something is about to happen. This must mean something is changing. This must mean that I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Not on the verge of survival, not on the verge of death, which is a whole other topic to get into, the art of dying which we've become very, as a collective, we shy away from because we've deemed it unpleasant. I refuse to look at it as something unpleasant. I look at the life of another human being and what they've lived and what they've accomplished and what they've done with their lives and said, what a beautiful thing. And we can go back and forth on that all day, but it's a thing of beauty to be able to live, wake up every morning in the first, conscious thought is I am so happy to be able to live, to be able to breathe, not what issue my mind deemed important the night before, not what phone call I have to make today, not what emails I have to answer today, although those be it important things. But can I separate that from the over the big picture? I'm alive, you're alive. We are all connected. This one consciousness is real. It's 
is why I can sit here and it can feel like I'm talking right to you talking right with you. This is an open dialogue. I'm imagine I'm just downloading what you are experiencing and I'm hoping it goes through this lens and has the ability as your headphones are in to translate from electrical waves sounds to translate to electrical pulses in your mind that you understand and that you bring up your own insights and own visions and own breakthroughs. So let's keep that symbolic nature of openness as we move into a mountain mind meditation. Let's go. Comfortable seat. Close the eyes. Relax your gaze. Take three bigger inhales and bigger exhales. exhale and then you let that breath just naturally move in and move out and what I want you to do is to become aware of how that breath is moving in and out of your body is it deep is it shallow tag some characteristics is it smooth or is it choppy are you relatively still or is there a need to move and to shift is your mind pulling you in a couple different directions or is it relatively calm right now? You can allow the face to relax, forehead, eyes, lower jaw, calm direct your awareness to your arms feel the weight notice where they're resting how they're resting where are your hands in space deeper and deeper relax over to your chest and your belly and relax those areas relax so much your pelvic floor you actually feel that area release no gripping lower abdominal a sense of release there your legs in space are they bent are they straight are the feet on the floor are they up somewhere are you cross-legged what's happening there deeper and deeper relax Take your focus and bring it to the center of your chest. Place your hands, one or both. Take a moment, feel your hands. Feel the heart be beneath your hands.
as you breathe into this space, we're going to connect both the heart and the mind through vibration of your own voice. The sound A H A. We're going to make and use as a clearing between the two channels. And I want you to notice, if you can, does that vibration bounce from the heart to the center of the head, center of the head, back to the heart? And if not, notice where you feel it in your own body. This isn't about matching my tone or matching my pace. This is about doing what you feel is right, without question. And I want you to notice if insecurities come up, my voice should sound better. And I want you to attach or leave a label on that as, thank you, conscious mind, I hear you. It's not needed right now. We're just making sounds. Thank you, conscious mind, for that helpful bit of information. Not needed though. Mountain mind. Here we go, always on the exhale. Push all the air out of the body. The sound, ah, A-H. Take a deep breath. about it. Just keep going.
Stay with it. Three more. Finish that final one. Just be right here and notice what you notice. Is there a stillness? Is there a choppiness? Is there a calm across the mind? Or is there busyness? Watching from a distance, pure observation, no judgment, no critiquing or analyzing, just awareness. For just a few moments, envision, conjure up, imagine, create a scene in your mind that brings about the emotions you wish to feel more of in your life. Wherever that is, whoever it's with, be there right now, paint that picture with as much detail as you can and go there for just a few moments. You don't have to force anything. It happens naturally. Through the vibrations of that mountain mind of yours, go. Right now, see it all. Feel the sunshine. Smell the, the air. All the tastes, all the touches, all the, the textures, what you see. Body, go. No time, no reality. Go. Of 
those few moments each day embodying whatever reality you wish. Sending waves to the rest of the universe, energetic waves from that mountain heart, from that mountain mind. Unstoppable. So bring that awareness to the hands once again and thank yourself. All the gratitude to you choosing to do something positive and meaningful for yourself, always knowing that it is a choice. And we'll seal this today together. A deep breath into the nose. And it's gone out through the mouth. The hands release, the eyes open up. And that is Mountain Mind. And as you reflect, as you move through your out your day, remember you are the director. You are the director. Repetition over and over and over and over again. That's all beliefs are. Are thoughts that are repeated consistently. So you decide what thoughts you wish to repeat consistently. And if you don't like some thoughts, you let them go. Let them go and replace them with thoughts that you do enjoy. So I thank you again. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bow and thanks.